and the buy a can mono as him can go chili as a long um because the upon a couple of seas gain a solar I talk about him around the year eastern is 24 whereby soon a with the new bundle posy but I'm a car you name in a eastern region and the whole Nigeria um because it is our if I would tell you no boss in Keta I had to go to Gaya beef when you get here Cobalo, where we drop all I comment you know if you know cello. Um, let's go ahead go see the Biafra agitation is not about Marzi, Nam de Cano, or Simon Epa. On our course, we did Biafra agitation, uh, not it's not about Nam de Cano or Marzi, Simon Epa. A gay beef. I guess here, Cabaro drop right your own comment if you change your alcohol, but stomach in there, you know. All right, over to you, sir. I represent the good people of Oka North and South Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, from Anambra State. Uh, mine is uh, very brief. Um, like you said, that democracy is uh, also a process where you give other people a chance to speak. And um, we're celebrating 25 years of independence. Sorry, 25 years of unbroken um, democratic uh, system. And um, for me, I, I, I'm, this celebration is coming to me uh, with so much mixed feelings. Because Nigerians are all watching us. Nigerians are listening to us. Those people we are representing are listening to us. How much of this democracy, un, unbroken democracy that we are celebrating today, how has it trans translated to, you know, unbroken food security? How has it transferred and transformed into unbroken security in the nation? How has it transformed into unbroken access to education, access to health care? And we're talking about celebration of democracy. The democracy is government of the people, for the people, by the people. And it should actually change the lives of our people. We are representing our people. Our people are hungry back home. For me, to be honest with you, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing to celebrate. Oh, you are saying we should not celebrate democracy? So we should democracy. be looking at celebrating food security. We should be looking at celebrating access to health care. Mm. So we should be looking at celebrating. There are a lot of things to celebrate. We know yeah. that we know that we have had unbroken. Excuse me, please. And I, I need to be protected. I need to be protected, Mr. Speaker. You are protected, but democracy is what is protecting you. So, so democracy has is given this? you that place you we are have, standing. We have on this floor. To be we a parliamentarian, you are it's democracy that gave you that platform. Are you saying sir, you are not celebrating sir, it? What has it, how has it impacted? We need it to move a step further. We need it to move a step further. If I am here and it has brought me here, how has it impacted my own people? That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Peter. thank you very much. So please, thank you. we are celebrating, I am celebrating, but we should be able okay, to you are celebrating it now. implement what we have been doing here. Over okay, here. thank you. So you are thank celebrating you. it now. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable colleagues, uh, Professor B has ended up saying that she is celebrating democracy. Uh, that's the recognition, Mr. Speaker. I am Honorable Dr. Zainab Gimba. I represent Bama Angala Kalabalgi. Mr. Speaker, I'm from Borno State. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today on this special day of the day of democracy in Nigeria. I would like first of all to congratulate my honorable colleagues, Mr. Speaker, and all other Nigerians on this uninterrupted 25 years of democracy. Democracy, in fact, is not just about voting. Democracy is a process and actually is not a state. There are liberal democracies which we have, I believe we have in Nigeria today. There are other countries that you have voting, people go out to vote, 
vote for their, president, for their representatives, but they have illiberal democracies because they have compromised a lot of things like the freedom of the press, freedom of embodiment in all government processes, freedom, a lot of things, even the independent of the judiciary has been compromised in some democracies. But I think we should be proud that in Nigeria, during this period of 25 years of uninterrupted democracies, we have never in any way compromised the independent of these arms of government. Mr. Speaker, even in the UK and the UAs, where democracies are examples to us and to the rest of the world, until recently, I think, uh, though the franchise, for instance, in the UK has been extended from 1830, but until in 1918 that women were allowed to vote. And in, it should, we should all be proud that in these 25 years of democracy in Nigeria, there has never been a scenario where women or other factions in the society has been differentiated from voting. We, can, we should congratulate ourselves for that. And equally, even in the United States, it is until 1965 that African Americans were allowed to fully vote. So in looking at all these scenarios, Your Excellency, Honorable Colleagues, we should be proud that we have nurtured our democracy during these uninterrupted 25 years. Not forgetting the fact that we equally have challenges which we are still working assiduously within the society, in, in uh, the executive, the legislature, issues of insecurity, and all other things. I think we should all sit up to see that we use this same democracy that gives us the power to be involved in the process of government to work hard to see that we face all these challenges and find solutions to it. We should look at the issues of insecurity, particularly which if you see has different impacts and has created a lot of humanitarian emergencies in, this con in the country today which resulted in issue of hunger, issue of malnutrition among our children, lack of uh, school among our children, a lot of other things. And even lack of hospitals has also generated a lot of health issues in this country. And if you look at it, when we are talking about hunger or lack of uh, physical health, the lack of mental health is one of the major issues that we should face during this period of our democracy. Because it involves a lot of other things. It is all over. You can see it in children, in schools, everywhere. And this all resulted as a result of the fact that people have always been awake and are threatened with a lot of insecurity issues, ranging from kidnapping, uh, from bandits, harders, Boko Haram, uh, and a lot of others. And depend, uh, the IPOB everywhere, if you go to the northeast, to the southwest, to the south-south, to the north-central, everywhere you will find one sort of insecurity or the other. Okay. And this is uh, one thing we should, as a legislator, sit down, look at it, revisit, and then work hard to see that next year, when we are celebrating our 26th year of uninterrupted democracy, we should say we are happy that we can sleep outside with our eyes closed. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. I knew that the man that was uh, moving the point of order, uh, Mr. Speaker, was to... We've taken from here. Let us take from um, Honorable... Yes, Emma's Yes, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable colleague. My name is Amos Gwamna Magaji. 
and I represent the peaceful people of Zangon Kataf, Jaba Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, we are from Kaduna State. And I'm from People's Democratic Party. The party that set up this democracy we are celebrating in 1999. The foundation was properly laid by the People's Democratic Party, upon which other parties have sprung up and then they are ruling. Without that, I don't think we would have uh, reach this level of democracy and as we speak about democracy we saw a PDP president leaving his seat to allow another party to take over that is democracy that is democracy mr. speaker as we speak about democracy we thank God for preserving this dear country, Nigeria indeed is not where it ought to be, but certainly we are not where we used to be. And this point clearly about leadership. As we move forward and as we advance as a democracy, there is a need for leadership at every level everything rises and falls on leadership i heard the former one of the speakers said nigeria is rich nigeria is rich in resources nigeria is rich in human capital but in management of human capital and resources there is still a lot that need to be done in order to move this nation forward. Mr. Speaker, we are glad because of democracy we are standing here. We are glad because of democracy we could speak and our voice is heard. Mr. Speaker, there is still need for freedom in Nigeria. There are parts of Nigeria that cannot go and pray freely. There are other parts of Nigeria that cannot mingle freely. And if we are saying that we are practicing democracy, then there shall be freedom and the same law, constitution, that govern one part of Nigeria should also govern the other part of Nigeria if we are practicing democracy. I want to say, Mr. Speaker, that Nigeria indeed has received and has uh, 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 progressed in many dimensions. But I want to say here that Nigeria needs to provide social security for her citizen, especially as it relates to health and education. Up to this moment, Mr. Speaker, and everyone seated here, one of the greatest challenges and the calls, the text message we receive are borders on health care and education. And I think going forward, Mr. Speaker, Nigeria needs to uh, get her health care system right. Without health, there is no productivity. Without health, there is no Nigeria. Until we get it right in our health sector, we cannot get it right in productivity. Mr. Speaker, moving forward, Nigeria need to have uh, 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 our citizens, poor people, need to be able to access health care without paying from their pocket. Social security need to be in place. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. And thank, thank you. you for democracy. Thank, thank you, Nigerian country in the nation, an OPEC member, leading OPEC member. And we are now going by a legal framework that actually places Nigeria in the best position when you are talking of oil production and oil sales in the global world. Okay. Other legislation, Mr. Speaker, okay. that I don't have to uh, necessarily hammer on. But look at, for instance, the Noctuyan Turan. Noctuyan Turan bill that was passed by this house and with, with, a, 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 with the, by this house and by extension by the, by the National Assembly is also one very good 
legislation that brought about the younger ones, the brilliant ones from various, various shades of life, shades of experiences, whose experience are actually coming to pay a lot of good here on the floor of the House of Representatives. All right. All right. We have you. given the young ones an opportunity to come and work with us. And they are working with us in good direction and they are contributing seriously to the development of this country and to the legislative duties we are doing here. Your Excellency, I want to put also to the table that while we congratulate ourselves, that we must also charge ourselves. Charge ourselves by looking inward and looking at those areas where we should act and make Nigeria greater in the democratic, in the democratic process that we are, we are running. Your Excellency, I want to put it before you as Chairman of the Constitutional Review Committee that the issue of local government independence in Nigeria is one issue that must not be negotiated. Coincidentally, coincidentally, you are to chair the, com the Constitutional Review Committee. I want that committee to be headed by you or being headed by you and this institution to take seriously the issue of local government autonomy, the insecurity problems we have, the banditry, the economic challenges we face all over in this country, Mr. Speaker, is born out of non-functional malfunction in the local government administration system. We have the constitution which specifies that we have three tiers of government. Mm -hmm. And as long as we want these three tiers of government to function effectively and be able to address problems at the grassroots levels, then local governments must be right. allowed to operate as All independent right. tier of government for the I benefit of... I feel your passion. Speaker, and if I allow you... The government yeah. must also try to do more in the Thank area you. of security. Thank you. In the area Thank of security, you. So that we can give our opportunity. are still facing security challenges mm -hmm. and the government and the institution of the legislature must also be ready to address this security problem mm -hmm. so that our people everywhere in the country, in the 774 local government, you have our people sleeping with their eyes closed. Thank you very much. If you believe the house is ready for that, the government should also be ready for that. Thank we you. work on the same page to ensure the overall development of Nigeria in every aspect and every Thank aspect. you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you and God bless you. Democracy as a system of governance, it has its own nuances, but I will talk about its opportunities, especially the opportunities it has granted to this country over 25 years. One, it has provided citizens a process to participate in the political process of a country without hindrance. Secondly, it has provided individuals freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Freedom, it has provided, it has guaranteed civil liberties where people have freedom of religion, freedom of association, freedom of assembly, which were not there. The society, the citizens, could not have enjoyed that without democracy. There is the issue of accountability. The people holds people in, in governance accountable. And it is their duty to, uh, to present themselves before the, the people that elected them to, to, to account for their stewardship. Democracy creates an environment for economic opportunities, liberalize the, the economy, liberalize participation of each and everyone in the ecosystem of the economy of the country. Democracy, Mr. Speaker, emphasize on equal and social mobility where people advance based on their merit, hard work, intellect, is only democracy that can provide that space. And because democracy gave her the platform to be able to address this issue and uh, to say she is not celebrating it is what's bothered her. Honorable Kafilat, I want to hear you speak. Please. I hope my mic... And by Ekenepoenumono, Edikunusibe, Neso Ikonai, Eastern 
na nugo niyo wana yu kipuni rawa e kifi uli kubasta maka ya bienda nini nugasi nini wana yu kubasi e basta maka open grazing bill em kabaru ke drop ula yu on comment on the comment section below thank you and also stay tuned at eastern news 24 kemesia no mundem